So, welcome back. We are playing Three Kingdoms The Last Warlord, which is a strategy game set in the Three Kingdoms period. This is... we're coming back after a session where the main, or the biggest thing that happened to us last session was we managed to uh, bink a very nice item in the general ship in terms of uh, writing it. The way we do that is at the college. When a personage comes in, you can have them do writing. It's like 2% chance. Very nice to have pipped it. Give me you. Yeah. And so now, we are also facing uh, a large army from Liu Bao. And we should be able to defend this. We have quite a few troops. And so let's get into it. Uh, Hopefully we do not get... Oh, uh, this is what we were hoping didn't happen. So our pass got attacked on the same time. And so now... I think we just have to escape with these guys. Um, pretty unfortunate. So we're going to click escape. And then we we're going to defend here. Yeah, so we lost the pass for like nothing. That is uh, pretty frustrating. We can't. We have to manually defend our capital. We cannot manually defend the pass. And we want to probably do something a little bit differently here. Um, we want these two to have bows. Zhang Ren to have infantry. And then... Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Um, but what can you do? Cry, I suppose. Oh, we don't even have... Hmm. This isn't good. So we had the catapults before, and now we don't have the catapults. And... reason why is we must have lost enough defense when we got attacked that we now no longer have them. That's going to make this a lot harder. Considering he has even more troops than he did last time as well. Um, but we have more troops as well, so... Maybe it won't be too, too bad. Not having the catapult hurts quite a bit, though. try and light the cavalry on fire, generally speaking. Look at that, so much damage. Considering it's an archer. Nice and condensed here. If we should, yeah, let's go for it. See, we're going for this volley because we might get it confused. Druge Leon's skill is really high. We don't. We also just get to do a little bit more damage. Oh, this is Zhang Ren, not Zhuge Leon. Okay. In our head, it was Zhuge Leon. Well. Zhuge is here. We 
might have to target down. Oh, this is bad. This is bad because we can't move. Alright, let's eliminate this guy. Try and use fire arrows here. Big yikes. This is a mood. Okay. I wonder why we were only locked such a short period of time. This will block this guy coming up. Take a look at Jugeleon, who's in his unit. Um, sorry, Liu Bao. And if it's not a particularly high intelligence guy, Wing Can. We would actually really love to capture Wing Can. He has some of the highest. Uh, I think he has the highest base academic in the game. This is what we don't like, all the supporting units make it rough. Okay, we can take him out pretty easy, which is nice. This is Liu Pan, the supporting guy. I think he's strong enough to take out this guy. Yeah. Now we won't be able to be shot because if you are on the lip, you can be shot from down below. If you are back one, you cannot be shot, which is very nice. Okay, who do we want to prevent from getting up? Well, let's start like this. And then use Disorder again on the U-Bow. Since he did that, we are going to rockfall here. Now we don't get the confuse. Well, so a bunch of these guys are going to be getting up, but we're we'll be killing this guy, so that's going to make this guy go away, anyways. And we'll just start with this guy on that. Hopefully the bow doesn't come up off of this. Yeah, okay, we got. Unfortunate. He is pretty weak to tactics. He's the only one that's weak to tactics here, but he is weak to tactics. Uh, we are gonna try and do this. We're gonna rush, because I think if we kill him, we st we'll still occupy this spot. Yeah. Which means this guy can't come up. Which is what we want. Interesting play. Now we will try and kill this guy pretty quick. If he wants to mount up on fire, that's fine. I think he is the last unit remaining. Yep, and he did come up on the fire. And 
we are doing this because their zone of control will, I think, prevent Liu Bao from coming in on our archer guy, so he has to attack the melee, which is what we want. And now we will... We kind of want to get on the other side of him. Because I think he retreats after this turn. I think we made a mistake. I think we could have... Yeah. We could have made it, so... Maybe not. The fire was getting in our way. But, all in all, kind of a bit of a sad turn. Because we had to give up oh, a ton of prisoners, though. So we got Hiqua. I can't remember how good he is. Oh, Zhang Yun's real good, so that's good. So maybe not such a sad turn. We don't like not having this anymore. But Zhang Yun is very nice to have. And we got Zhu Chu employed. This is fantastic. Okay. So, ooh, yikes. So we're gonna move some troops here. Or move some officers. From Zetong, and then we'll move officers to Zetong. Why don't we eat the Wu brothers, or cousins? Oh no, no, we don't want them coming to Zetong. sucks because we also just lost like 10,000 soldiers. <laughs> uh. Wang Ying appeared, who is normally, or in the like fake history, is Zhu Geleon's wife, so it would be nice to get her. And I think we probably won't get attacked by Li Yu Bao in the next like two turns, so maybe we can send Zhuge Leon out. Well, first things first, we want to do this, and uh... Oh, his academic's so bad. He's probably not even as good. Oh, that's unfortunate. He will do it quite nicely. On search. In fact, I think we want him to search the south instead. And then when Meng whatever comes back, we will send him probably to central and then send Zengi to the south and west. Okay. I think we're okay with this. Hopefully we don't get it against punished, but... Now we want to work on... Oh, you have such high patrol, too. Fantastic. Because we do want to recruit more guys. And we have two... We have Gao Pei and... What's his name coming? Ping Z coming back. 
And I guess maybe we move them here and transport the stuff out and then move them to Jianmen Pass or something. So, kind of a mixed bag of a turn. Oh, we should have awarded, made sure Zuchu's loyalty was good. Got another personage coming in. Uh, I don't think we have anything to write with. We are going to tell this guy to shove it when he tries to get prisoners. Oh. Because uh, we have a ton of gold anyways. Normally, when you play on a harder difficulty, you kind of just have to take the money and run. So... Land was beset by war. Zuhi has gathered his co-partners and become Duke. The hell? Hey, hi. One moment. I have to pause the recording. Okay, I am back. Um. So, this has not happened before, uh, where a guy makes a new army. It's almost the same color as Liu Bei's, or I have not seen this. So maybe this uh, dropped with the new patch, the, their ability to do that, which is uh, interesting. We will want to try and employ the woman. We want to send Meng, what's his name? Oh, this guy's also okay. Or gal, actually. That's what he's good for. Okay, so... Forget, oh, well, we'll do that later. Uh, we, let's see if we are eligible for a promotion. So we own eight cities, and yeah, we can start asking for promotions. So we gotta start giving the emperor some money. We will move Pengzi and Gao Pei. I guess maybe we want to kill Zongji around just in case we get attacked again. Let's see if any of these guys have any affinities. No, they do not. I think she was already shacked up. that to Wang Shang. This guy is who we want to reward it to, but Wang Shang has really high contact, so maybe we will be moving him back into the main city so that he can do search. for getting more bowmen here.
Again, there are special, so you can sort here in their special books. There's still one more that Trugaleon can write, because he already wrote the generalship. And I don't think we have any writing materials, just other than, like, one sheet of paper. Also gonna transport 1,200 guys from here to the pass. Pass got plenty of food. We don't mind giving him back to someone who we have no chance of him playing. We will tell him to shove it again, though. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I guess we should just tell all of them to kind of shove it, because we don't need money. We are going to need to probably... Yeah, we got to help refugees. guys here too in our capital that way we can do stuff and not have to worry about not having enough guys to defend uh... also still have to worry about this fortress I guess Zhu Chu is coming back. I keep forgetting this place to up the amount of guys that we have. This is gonna be a bit of a rough defend. I think. Maybe move Zhang Yan to the city. Yeah, I think I kind of like that.
guess we'll put a few points in his academic. And, man, this is gonna be rough to find. Yeah, I think we really want Zhang Yun there. If we can manage to hold it this turn, we might not even hold here. So many attacks. Yeah, we don't have... Uh, well, they won't... They probably won't have siege weapons. Who's the... We gotta kill that guy. Grim. Grim, grim, grim. Well, it looks like he's gonna take a stupid route here. It's gonna take him a while. They're gonna like single file in a little bit, which is nice because he's dicking around in the river over there. So, Unfortunate is raining. Like we're still gonna manage to clean him up pretty easy, but would be nice to be able to fire on this guy this turn. I think we're gonna save the willpower here. His attack's not gonna hurt too bad. Wish we could fire with this guy to finish him off, but we need to control the zone of control. Crazy he's going this way, but kind of crazy obnoxious too. like a fox. We're gonna try and creep over here. Or we should have earlier, I guess. Not sure if we're supposed to block here or what. We're gonna block. And then we're gonna move over and deal with this guy.
this might not be looking so good for us. I'm not sure we're out damaging him. Certainly not once this guy comes up. Oh, and they, like, uh, I think we lose the city. Grim, grim, grim. Terrible that it's been raining this whole time. Maybe we get this? I don't think so. Well, we'd really prefer it. Maybe we gotta move this guy first next time. Okay. Are we going to be pinned up against a wall where we can't fire properly? Oh, that crit's so big. Oh no, don't do that. No helpsies. Oh, this is so close. Helpsies, no crits. Oh yes, do it in that order, please. No helpsies. We're just gonna do the same thing we did. Oh, it's gonna take us three turns. Okay, I think we got it. No helpsies. <laughs> if he ran back now, it would be fucked. Like, if he runs this guy back and we just have to 1v1 the archer, I think. Actually, probably have good enough archer skill. Wow, we just barely defend this. We're moving Zangyan in here the next time. Or maybe we should move Zuchu over here. Probably not. Kind of want him in the main city. Well. Because we already have two bow officers here. That was close. He is decent. Kind of. It's good enough to fight them. We'll move him over. And we will look at the size of this army before deciding how many guys to send. Okay, it's just 6,000. So we can probably repair one of these dikes. So, 
looking like we've been here before. I suppose gradually we'll just capture more and more officers, eventually we'll start getting them. When they attack in. I think we just barely can't get to him and we just pass. Oh, we can get to him. Weird. I've never successfully used capture, but usually they die first or I just don't want to use it. Or like, yeah. Who do we want to give the XP to? Probably Zuchu. Zuchu is also going to be like our champion in the duels from now on, or the, the tournaments. So Lei Tong and Zheng Su are coming to our city, because they were released from down here, so we got to remember to move more guys down there. We want to make sure that Zuchu has some stuff. First, we want to take the paper from him. Don't think we'll have... yeah, we don't have anything. Now we have this interesting thing where we kind of want Zhang Ren to get better because he's our guy, but then Zhu Chu to also get better because he's our other guy. Transport action.
gonna start to populate some of these things. Maybe we should be Themi and marry Trugaleon to Huang Yu Ying. I guess I kind of like that. So generally speaking, um, so when you marry, you get a boost of the stat that you marry into, and Huang Yu Ying, when you marry, boosts math, which is like a governance skill. Generally, you don't want it on Trugaleon, but if we're just being Themi. I also just kind of don't hate uh, Drugaleon just having kids as quickly as possible. And, oh, wait, what? Excuse me. Do you have kids? What the hell? Didn't see you have space. Oh, we moved the guy who's supposed to be here, I guess. Is that what we did? Ritong and Zeng Su are both going back. We're going to quickly go through and make sure all the best governors are appointed in various places. I think we wanted Ling Bao in the city, so we'll move him over. That's not going to matter in a second. Now we have a lot of guys here, although they are building up to military capacity anyways. I think it's under basic where it says how much could they lead. So 15,000 ground troops and yeah, these guys were better archers. 9,000 melee for Yan Yan. I wonder what the... I think the ride score on Zuchu is pretty bad. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's the best we have so far. Let's see. Why 
Wai Ling is really good, but we can't employ him because he's too loyal. He's okay, I know he has high dual score. Is she married? She's not married. And I think, if I recall correctly, yeah, she has high academics, so she's one of the best officers to marry, so we might actually do something else here. So, I don't even know what this translates to, but it makes them less loyal. And so we're going to break down her loyalty and then try and employ her. And then marry her to Jugaleon, assuming they're not related, they have the same surname. Uh, and if we could do that, then, you know, that'll be nice. Just checking how long this recording has been. Oh. Fuji port. Well, Fuji port's gone. <laughs> A lot of resources, too. But this is unfortunate. This is why we kind of wanted to take out Baju Fortress at some point. I guess we should have done it sooner rather than later. We cannot, there's no way for us to defend it. she escapes the turn after. Okay. This is nice. So now we actually get to fight in this tournament because we have a guy who qualifies. Probably not going to do very good. We are in a bracket where we could do good. Um, the notable strong guys are all th four of these guys. Makao is pretty strong. Uh, Sham okay is okay. So we are power and he is power. So we are just going to do all power. Shamoke okay has some nice items though, so we might lose this. Yeah. Sad days. Okay, and then other... Wencho is okay. Taishi Chi is really good. Generally speaking, as far as duels go, the way this deviates from the normal game is you'll see guys who have really high archery score generally tend to do better, so that's Tai Chi Chi and Huang Zhang, than they would in, like, other games. Does clicking this do anything? No. It's great that we have had a, a different ho force every time win the tournament, so that they're not all getting stacked. All the good reward items are not getting stacked in one force. So Jujutsu takes an injury. So Futong we just employed. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with him yet. recruit some more guys. Wondering why we can't marry to... Wang Yuyin. 
Sad to see her go. I guess we might send Futong down here. We already have a bunch of guys in Zetong that are pretty good. Hao Zhao is extremely good, but we cannot get him because he's too far, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, so all this has gotten pretty low from just getting battered a bit. Uh, we really want to get this above 2,000 again, though, because that will allow us... Uh, to have catapults. <laughs> Maybe we should try and eat this guy's loyalty? He's a pretty good governor. just up this, try and get there faster. coming for our port again with 13,000 troops. We're doing that so he gains four rapport. Actually, we'll just use all three of them to handle it. these guys to make more troops as well. Uh, 
cities are really not that great. Okay, I have an idea why. That'll help a little bit. Again, we are waiting until the turn starts to pass before... Ugh. I don't think I like that. Uh, we wait till the turn to pass before marching out with these guys, because... Uh, that way we do not induce an attack by the bow. Because they calculate it at the start of the turn, so if and they will never start an attack mid-turn. You know what? We're gonna go here and here and here. Yikes! He's a bowman, which makes things a little more annoying. Get shot if we're here. Can't use Thunder Strike because. Yeah. Oh, well, you can't reach him either. Yeah. Always tough with bow units. We're just gonna try and start getting at him. It's sunny, I guess. I'm gonna rush him into the fire. Rush him into the fires, so we are going to try and light another one. Oh, that's wild. Just trying to save ourselves some damage by misinforming him so he can't fight back. Oh, that's not going to do very much.
trying to make him disloyal. More disloyal. Ah, did we freeze? Toaster, please, no. So, what's curious now is I'm wondering if OBS keeps running and the game just stalls out. I would not entirely blame this on the game. My computer is a toaster. Um. Hmm. I guess I will click escape and... Oh, there we go. Back to good. Ish. Still drill. him to soil correctly or successfully. Yeah, it's gonna be so much harder to take Han John. Hong Kong's got a pretty high strategy. We have a really good uh, strategy item. Mm, but we kind of want him to have the academic item. We're just gonna pay 10,000. Normally we wouldn't, but like, uh, we're so rich. And we're gonna summon all of the merchants. So we can buy stud horses and items. A shopping spree next episode. Yeah, so like losing this pass makes it so it's like gonna take us twice as long to take Hanjong. Uh, just kind of a bit of a bummer. But going out, we have like six officers here. That's a pretty solid amount. They're like all military officers, roughly. Except for him and him to some extent. Um, you know, also got plenty of officers here that are useful, including the mighty Yan Yan. He's the old guy. And then here we also got maybe more officers than we need. We can move Zhang Su to here, maybe, if we manage to employ someone else. Hmm. Trying to figure out what to do. I think this is a good stopping point for the episode, though. So, we defended a couple times. Nothing 
too eventful happened. Um, we lost Jian Meng Pass, which was kind of eventful. We almost lost this city, which was neat. Um, we employed Zhu Chu, which was nice. For some reason, we can't marry Huang Yu Ying to anyone. Maybe it's just a year has to pass from like when she's discovered to when she can marry. It's been like, I think that's like kind of like a bit of a buggy thing, but um, there's that. Can we recruit? No. We're uh, all hands on deck right now, trying to brew this poor dilapidated city. And next time we will be having a shopping extravaganza because we summoned every trade cart because we have a ton of gold. And we should be spending it, if we can, to help improve our officers. Um, we're going to want to take back this port at some point. Um, actually, we're going to want to take it back right now. Because we can. Um... And then we are building up really along these like outer points, especially here and up here. One of the problems is it takes him a long time to march to us, but it takes us a long time to march to him. And um, so we can't do the trick where they deploy on us and then we redeploy after we beat them, because by the time we get they get back, they will have recovered a ton of troops. So, and he's also going to get support from his other city, so it's actually going to be really hard to break into this point, which is why this is nice for a capital. Um, Hanjong would make also a decent capital. It's, like, fairly close to the middle of the map as well. It's not visually as close, but having to go around this and having to go down this is kind of similar road paths, because you got to go... I think both have to go through Xinye to, like, really get into the rest of the map. So it ends up being kind of similar. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to call it here. And uh, have a good one.